We are about to show you how you can glitch through bedrock in any other block in MCPE just like this. Yo, what's up creepers and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how you can glitch through bedrock or any other block in MCPE. So if you guys are interested, stick around. So now this trick is perfect for games like factions, however if you do not play factions this trick still does work but we recommend using it for factions because that's where it's going to be most useful. So alright so as you can see guys we have a couple of blocks that we built out of different materials and we are going to be showing you guys how you can get through these blocks and get inside. So what you're going to need to accomplish this is the following thing. So you guys are going to need some blocks, any type of blocks you want. You're going to need yourself some ender pearls and you're also going to need yourself some sand. Once you have those blocks and items, you are ready to go. So first off, before we start glitching through all these different blocks, you want to go ahead and look at your structure and look for any mistakes that the person could have done in building. Something like this for example. If someone left a mistake in their build like that, you can easily just go and teleport through them. For example, if we go and throw an ender pearl through, you can see that, oh no, wait, throw an ender pearl, and as you can see, we have glitched through into this base. It's tiny space. So now that was just one example of people's mistakes that you could use to get into someone's base. However, now example, if we were to go to a sky base, and people didn't finish off placing blocks at the bottom like this, we could also easily get into this base. For example, throw an ender pearl, and as you can see, we have gotten into the person's base without any trouble at all. So now, all the ways we showed you so far are if someone forgot to finish off placing blocks on their base. So, for example, mistakes in their building base. But what happens if no one, if the person did not make any mistakes, for example, these two structures we have here, have no indentations or any blocks missed out. But how do you get in them, if you ask? Well, we're about to show you how. So now we're going to show you how you can easily glitch through the structure, even if it has no spots empty where there should have been blocks all right so all we have to do is go ahead and place some blocks like this or like that like that all right then you're going to go stand in there then you're going to place a sand on top of you and another sand until you are inside the sand then you're going to have to get your ender pool throw it this way and as you can see we have gotten into the person's base it's really simple it's really easy rex is hot as you can see, this is someone's base, and yeah, it's a little crazy, but for example, that's how you would be able to get into someone's base. Now, this amazing trick doesn't just only work for obsidian hour blocks, but it also works for bedrock. You heard it, bedrock. The block that cannot be destroyed by hands. This block can actually be glitched through, so we're about to show you how. And it's actually using the same technique that we used earlier, and can someone get this thing away from me? So anyway, back to what I was saying, you can easily glitch through this bedrock base, and get to the person's hard earned items simply by doing the same trick we did over there. So example, let's go like this, like this, place our sand on top of us, like so, like so, and then you just have to use your ender pearl. And as you can see, we have easily broken into the person's base. Now, like we said earlier, this is amazing for anything such as factions where you want to try and break into someone's base and get their hard earned items. This trick is really useful and we hope you guys will enjoy it. And once again, this can be used for any type of block. It can be used for dirt, it can probably be used for sand, it can be used for clay, you know, it can be used for anything, anything your hearts desire. And there you go guys, that's how you can easily glitch through any block in Minecraft Poction, including Bedrock. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. But with that being said guys, we will see you soon in another awesome Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Peace out.